I'm Jane, I'm one of the specialist nurses, and I've already had a read of the letter from your doctor, Dr Brown, and so I understand why you're here today, but I just wanted to check if you understand why you're here today. Something to do with my heart, I can't quite remember the, yeah. what he said, a atrial, atrial fibrillation is yes. what he said okay. he's got, yes. So your doctor has identified that you have an irregular heartbeat. Yes. Has he explained what exactly that means? I don't remember really. No. No. no? no. Okay. So, would you like me to go through that in some Please. detail? Yes, yes. So, I think what's important, if we're going to talk about what's not going quite right with your heart, is we talk about how your heart works normally first. And I think that's useful to help to understand what's gone wrong. Okay. So, I'll do some drawing for you. Okay. Can you see okay there? Yes. Yeah. So, excuse the very rough diagram. So, this is a very rough diagram of your heart. Okay. So, your heart is essentially a bag of muscle. Okay, and its function is to contract and pump blood and oxygen around your body. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have four chambers in your heart. You have your two top chambers, which are your atria. You have your two bottom chambers, which are your ventricles. And within your heart, you have an electrical system and you have a plumbing system. And when we talk about atrial fibrillation, we say AF for short. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the electrical system. Okay. okay. Do you just follow that? Does that yeah. make sense? Don't, don't worry, well, I'll, I'll not uh, sure. No. So it's the electrical system in your heart that causes the heart to contract, okay, yeah. and beat. Mm -hmm. And when that's working normally, you've got a little bunch of cells that sits up here. And this is the natural pacemaker within your heart. And your impulses should fire from here, mm -hmm. one at a time, across the top chambers. Mm -hmm. So it has sort of a ripple effect across there, causing them to contract and pump, okay, nice mm -hmm. and regularly. Mm -hmm. And then that impulse travels through a little filter in the middle and down and up and over. Okay, so we've, we've talked about what atrial fibrillation is. Mm -hmm. We've talked about the increased risk of stroke and yes. increased risk of bleeding. And we've talked about some of the treatment options. Can I just ask what your understanding of that is? A lot to take in. Did you did you understand? I mean, I understand. I well, mean, you know that Jim has sort of so. memory well, problems and yes. and difficulties with some things. I yeah. don't want to have a stroke. No, no, of course not. not. No, no, no. I mean, I understood. Yeah, that there are various things, blood thinners that you could take. Is that correct? Yeah. That is. Yeah. 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 And from the conversation that we've had so far, do you have any thoughts about what type of medication, if any, you would like to reduce your risk of stroke? or would you like to think about it further? Now, usually when we identify that someone has a risk of having a stroke, we would recommend that we initiate medication quite quickly. Okay. But I think it's also important that you are happy with what you're going to take and that you fully understand. So if you wish to take some information away, mm. then we can do that. I can give you some written information to take away. I've already prepared in advance um, a brief decision aid which has your individual risks identified on there. Right. You can take that away, have a look at it with some more information. I'm going to give you my telephone number and once you've made a decision you can give me a call. Okay. Or if you wish to come back and discuss it again, just we make can another have, yeah, appointment. We can have another appointment. Yeah. I'd like to think about it at home. No, I think I, I think we need to take it home because I think I might have to go into some sort of deep you know a bit more detail and, and whatnot. And That's absolutely fine. So, absolutely yes. fine. Yeah. Okay. Anything else you want to ask me now or do you just want to take No, them? I think we just yeah. That's lovely. So I'll give you these things. Sorry, Jim. No, no, I'll just if we can take those absolutely things fine. With us. Okay, so I'll give you this to take away. This identity your individual risk. Hello Jim, hello Margaret, hello. nice to see you again. Um, from what I can see, I think you've come back today for us to talk about your treatment options in terms of reducing your stroke risk, yes, the atrial right. fibrillation, is yes. that right? Yes, yeah. we've read all the stuff. Have yeah. you? Yes, we and have. Were you happy and we've, with the... we've had a talk about it, yes. Okay, yeah. were you happy with the information that you've been given? Yeah. Yes. So. Yes. I mean, we have thought we did talk about it, didn't we? You know, and, mm. and I think that we both felt that he probably should be started on some blood thinners. Yes. Okay. Because he has a, a few other health problems oh, as I well. Take a lot of tablets already. Yeah. Yes, I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. So before we talk about the different medications, can I just check your understanding of what we've talked about? Mm -hmm. So in terms of you, you, the risk of stroke and bleeding, can you just tell me what you've understood? Um, oh. Can you, Jim? Yeah, come on, Jim, we had... Um, no? 
No, I can't very well, to be honest. Okay. I just know we worked out that that's yes. probably the best pair. Yes, yeah. Okay. Um, basically, the atrial fibril fibrillation oh. cause causes yeah. the potential for a, a blood clot, is that right? Absolutely, yeah. yes, yeah. yeah. So you've made your decision, mm -hmm. okay. Can I just talk about the options then in terms of the the, um, the medication that's available? Yes. Okay, so I, I know you'll have read a little bit about yes, it. Yes, I mean, there's lots of long knit words. Yes. But we, of course, we want to make sure that we choose the right medication yeah. for you, okay? So there are five options, okay? So there are warfarin, and then we have four new drugs, so those are the, the direct oral anticoagulants, which yes, you'll have read about. Yeah, that's okay. those. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know whether you have any preference already, but can I ask you a few questions that might help us decide yes. together? Yeah. Yes. I've heard of warfarin, yes, but warfarin. not the others. Yeah. Yes, yeah, mm. well the others have been around for a little while, but not as long as warfarin, mm. okay. So, can I just check, I've already looked at the medications that you're taking. Nothing's changed since we last saw you. You're still on the same mm. medications. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you would be fine to take any of, of those five drugs with the medications that you're taking, so you mm. don't need to worry about that, okay? Right. The other thing I was going to ask you is, what's your preference, Jim? Would you prefer to take a once a day medication or twice a day? Because I see that you've got a combination. You are taking some of the medications mm. twice a day, but the majority are once a day. But I think once a day. But you prefer once Margaret a day. It keeps me right with all the pills. Okay, okay, that's fine. Do you, do you drink alcohol at all? Uh, yes, I like, I like okay. a Okay, but how much a week would you say you had? Oh, oh. We usually go to the pub a couple of times yeah. a week, don't we? Um, I might go again at the weekend. I perhaps have three, three pints or so each time. About three pints each time? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. About that. Okay, that's fine. And you said that Margaret looks after your medications. So you don't have a special box that you put them in. You just have Something them in the normal packets. Yes, yes. Just in the normal packets. I can't remember yeah. what it's called. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's so great. They're all laid out for me, so. Okay. Yeah. In terms of diet, do you have a, 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 a liking for sort of very green leafy vegetables? No, not particularly. Not particularly? Well, no. No? no? Okay, that's fine. And with some of the newer drugs, people talk about the fact that not all of them have a reversal agent or an antidote. Mm -hmm. Is that something that would concern you? Um. No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, to reassure you that one of them already does and the others will have an antidote very soon, so I wouldn't let that worry you too much. Okay. 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 Like, there's lots of things to think about, isn't there? Yeah. There are a lot of things to think about, but I think from what you've told me, I can probably help you with that. Um, with the answers that you've given me, I think we would look at a once-a-day medication. Mm -hmm. um, do, you, do you travel a lot? We do, actually. Well, we go on holiday, don't we? Yeah, we, yeah. we go on holiday okay. about four times a year, yeah. actually. Yeah, that's, I'm sorry, I forgot to ask you that. It gets okay. Jim out of the house and there's interesting things to see and that okay. kind of thing. So a once-a-day medication that wouldn't need a lot of monitoring would be probably a, a, a good mm -hmm. choice for you. Right. Okay. I um, noticed the warfarin one, you've got to... It's in here, it said, be checked very regularly. You, yes, you have to have your bloods checked quite regularly. Yeah. With the newer drugs, you usually check them before you start it, sometimes yeah. a month after, and then oh, usually just right. once a year. Okay. Um, so it's a lot more convenient. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you said that when we were reading yes, through, did. Yes, yes, that's right. Yeah. Two, bit, two to six weeks in between each, you know, you've got to keep going back and have blood tests, I believe, yeah? Yeah, okay. And that would be quite disruptive for him, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think so, with what you've been telling me. Yeah. So if we thought about one of the once-a-day medications and um, we don't go for warfarin because, of course, you like to go on your holidays, well, don't miss my holidays. then I think that there are two choices. There's a drug called adoxaban and a drug called rivaroxaban. Okay. okay. Um, I gave you some information to take away about those. Yeah. Do you have any preference? I didn't isolate Not them to really. that point, really. I mean, to be honest... I think we'd just like you to recommend something to yes. be honest. Absolutely right. fine, absolutely fine. So yeah. I would recommend a drug called a doxaban okay. for you, which is a yeah. once yeah. daily medication, yeah. 60 milligrams a day. I would make that recommend, recommendation to your GP and he would um, prescribe that for you and he would then monitor you from there on, right. okay? Mm -hmm. um, if that drug doesn't suit you, so we ha there's a potential for side effects with any drugs, and of mm -hmm. course the side effects of these are, are very small, very rare. Mm -hmm. But if it doesn't suit you, then remember that there are other choices. Other yeah, there's other things okay. that we can try. Okay, or if at any time you change your mind and you decide you don't want to be on a blood thinning medication, that's fine too. Right. 
right. Okay. Yeah. It would be important, though, to let your GP know that you'd made that decision. Oh, yeah, we would. Right. We would. Yeah. I mean, he sees well, the GP regularly. Yeah. He sees the GP quite regularly yeah. for, you yeah. know, prescription reviews and things like that. Okay. And the other thing is, as well, even though I'm not going to see you again once we initiate this medication, yeah. you always have access to our helpline. So I'm going to give you the telephone number for that. So if you have any questions, any queries, okay. you can call us and ask us. Oh, that's comforting. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Is there anything that either of you would like to ask me? I think I'm no, all right. Are no, you? Are you? I'm you happy. sure? Sure. Yes. Yes. Can, can we keep this? You can keep that. Thank yes. You. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write a letter to your doctor. I'm going to explain everything that we've discussed. You will also get a copy of that, and I'm also going to make the recommendation to your doctor to commence the adoxaban. Is that okay? So I would advise you to make an appointment to see your doctor to get your blood tests and then start on the new medication as long as everything's okay. okay.